Kings. Oh, weren't they wonderful times? I'll tell you. I was watching black and white TV in full color. By AARP standards, though, and by the Red Hat Society, I'm considered a senior citizen. Well, my heart doesn't feel like a senior citizen. I feel like a youngin'. But just like the rest of those Woodstockers that are my age, we've come to tell the government that we're ushering in a brand spanking new set, a brand new spanking fresh generation of voices. And you will hear our battle cry. Our battle cry is this. Free the green. Free it now. Hey, those Woodstockers and me, we grew up, people. We grew up to be scientists, surgeons, doctors, nurses, psychiatrists, lawyers, policemen, firemen, bankers, stockbrokers, teachers, presidents. Yep, that's right. Even President Clinton smoked a little hooch up there on the on the upper top floor of the White House with good old Willie Nelson. Maybe we can get him to come speak at one of these rallies. That'll bring people out. Even Faux News, Faux News said 82% of the country says legalize marijuana. That's been my position all along. For 43 years, I have always said, and I stand by this, I think 85% of this country either has, will, wants to, or does smoke Good. marijuana. The ones that don't like to smoke it, like to eat it. That's right. This war on drugs, people, it's been a long one. It's been an 80 year war on drugs. They made, they made marijuana prohibited when they decided that alcohol could be prohibited. Uh, uh, you know, they freed the alcohol and then they decided that we better make something illegal, so they made it marijuana illegal. Not right. Well, I gotta tell you, this war has been entirely too long in 80 years. But honey, trust this. It isn't their war, because their war has failed. Their war failed tremendously. This is our war, and you people are our soldiers. We're making changes. We're beginning to see changes. We are the changes we've worked so hard for. I'll tell you what, 43 years ago, I never thought I'd believe it. I never thought I'd see weed legal. Now it's legal in what, 70, 20 states. Medical marijuana is legal in so many states. It's coming here, people. Bank on it. Illinois. Illinois just yesterday sent a bill to the governor to sign. They're going to decriminalize it and make it legal for medicinal marijuana. Yes, indeed, people. We hear our officials, our, our officials say that they want to make our community safer. Well, the way to make it safer is to get it off the street so that our kids don't, they're not having access to it. Because listen, let me tell you something. And I hope, I, I want to thank all the police officers too, by the way, for, for protecting us. I see, I see that you protected us from all those radicals out there that are liable to beat us down. Thank you for your protection. But let me tell you something. If you want to get marijuana off the streets, legalize it, tax it, regulate it. If you want your community safer for your kid, legalize it. Because dealers don't harm. The only thing that destroys families is not 